I'm just going to take it off anyway. Hi, welcome to today's video. I was in Priceline the other day just doing a little bit of shopping and what caught my eye? Yep, are they going to branch out and do a full online about this? I um, was quite surprised the multitask awake me up concealer and foundation with cooling wand, vitamin C, caffeine, and it's a uh, medium coverage. I got the shade Light Honey 060. You get 20 mils. And it is $16 something Australian. So we're going to give this a try today. I love a good concealer and foundation in one. I um, actually have a foundation which I consider to be a concealer in one. It's the KBD apple serum full coverage foundation love it and you know what in my opinion you can use a foundation as concealer of course you can and you can use concealer as foundation all over your face of course you can but we're going to try this out we're going to give it a whirl i also am a big fan of the multitasker better than filters face primer so what we're going to do is we're going to do half a face with the Better Than Filters primer on this side of the face and this side of the face we're not. Now just to let you know I do have an SPF sunscreen on my face at the moment which I am using and loving at the moment is the Naked Sundays SPF 50 and um, it's just been great. Really I wanted to pick up the tinted version. I've heard the tinted version is very very popular so but I'm loving this I'm really loving this it's beautiful to apply on the face so let's get into it I'm just going to pick up my better than filters multitasker face primer because it's not here let's go ahead and give this a shake I'm going to apply like I said half of the face with the very very popular multitasker better than filters face primer I've nearly finish this so I'm giving it a good shake so I can get as much product as I I can on it down this side of the face applying it to half of the nose half of the chin I mean why not right we've got to do a comparison there we go a nice liberal application of that. I'm going to be rubbing that in with my fingers. Making sure only just to do this side of the face. I just, I'm just curious to see what the difference is going to be, if any at all. Okay. So it's clear to see that this side of the face, my right side of the face, which is your left, has the primer on it. I'm just going to wipe my hands off with a towel. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a shake. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. First of all, it's a, got a cool tip on it, which looks like that. And, um, and I don't think I've ever used a product like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have used eye creams that have sort of like a tip on it with, you know. But I don't know how this is. Let me just see how they say to apply it because I haven't really read the instructions. Um, okay, so does it say? Nope. Just says the ingredients and that it's a with a cooling wand with vitamin c and caffeine i don't know guys i don't know but we're gonna we're gonna do it i'm gonna apply with fingers on the back of my hand oh it's coming out let's just do sized amount 
And wouldn't you know, my hands are sweating. What's new, guys? What's new? All right. Picking that up, putting a little bit under the eyes as the concealer, dabbing that on the rest of my face and working the rest of that into my skin and I'm going to work it in with my fingers I'm just going to make sure my hands are nice or do I do it with a brush you know what let's do it with a brush I've got a clean brush here which is the uh, Sephora 56 brush Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay. Okay. That's blended in nicely with the primer and with the multitasker wake me up concealer and foundation okay I'm really first impression I am actually quite amazed with the way this has applied with the brush especially no pilling it absorbed really instantaneously. The shade match is gorgeous. I just decided, you know, I didn't even do the testers. I just picked out light honey because I thought, yep, that's just definitely going to be my shade. There was light beige that was almost quite um, close, but it looked a little bit too sort of gray. So I thought the light honey would be good. But guys, I'm actually kind of... Um, really 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 happy with the result of this i'm going to zoom you guys really close and there's the you can see the demarcation line with this is just my bare face with the sunscreen and this is with the product okay i'm now going to apply the product on the left hand side of my face just giving it another shake we'll do another exact size that we did for the other one which was just a pea-sized amount it comes out quite easily actually and I'm going to apply that onto dot that on to the rest of my face and I'm going to blend it in with the brush I would say this would be also perfect for working it in with a dry or damp beauty blender as well I forgot to put some under my eyes. Julie, I forgot to put some under my eyes. Boop. It's definitely making a really good job of covering up darkness. The consistency is not too thick not too thin it's just how i thought it would it would it's just how i thought it it's just how i expected it would be okay guys so there's nothing much more to say except the fact that it blended just the same as the right hand side 
Can you really tell that there's a major difference with the multitasker on underneath or without? To me, they kind of look the same. Although, is this side a little bit more glowier? I need to just... Let me have a look in this mirror here. Maybe? Honestly, no one's going to really know the difference, to be honest. But if you're looking for something that's going to be a little bit more hydrating, obviously going with a primer of your choice, this primer if you so desire, moisturizer, you could go on with a sunscreen. This product is going to do it. It's going to do it well. Um, now, you don't get that much in it, but I suppose you don't even have to use that much because of the fact that a little bit of this does go a long way. For my full face, I did two pea-sized amounts and spread it through. If you wanted to shear it out even more, I would get a damp beauty blender, which I have here, and tap off the excess. I'm going to do that right now because I had it, I was going to use it as the application. I just want to see if it does shear out a little bit. Yep, it did. Not too much. So guys, um, yeah, I'm going to report on this and let you know my thoughts in the description box below how it wears for the rest of the day. I would definitely pick this up if you haven't already. Um, it is a product that I would definitely keep handy to have with me if traveling or just as touch-ups during the day because it is so small. It is so small um, and I do love it. I don't know why they felt the need to come out with a concealer and foundation in one, but why not, right? Why not? They already have the Better Than Filters concealer in this, which I don't have. So maybe they just wanted to combine everything together. They've even got, I don't know, do they have a Better Than Filters foundation? Hmm, I don't think they do. Maybe that's why they did it. So guys, that is all. I am going to put on a bit of blush because I feel like I am so, so, so pale right now. We need to have a bit of color. And I'm just going to blend that in with my fingers. Have you guys picked up this product and what do you think about it? There, yeah, that's, that's better. I'm not going to do any contouring, bronzing, nothing else. That's it, just leaving it the way it is. And, um... I did also pick up a new shade of lipstick. I might as well just put it on now, right? Where did I put it? Where is it? Where are you? Here it is, right in front of me. It's the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in this color, which almost matches my nails. It's uh, called Kitten Heels. And this is the shade. Now I'm just going to wipe off my lips because I do have some lip moisturizer on and let's go ahead and apply this color oh whoa very 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 matte really my best application <laughs> but it's very 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 consists of like cream definitely matte but it's not drying and I feel like I botched up this application I mean what have I done oh my goodness
there we go mm. I'm leaving it just the way it is I I'm just gonna take it off anyway let me know in the comments below have you got the products do you have the multitasker wake me up better than concealer and foundation in one I would love to know I am definitely gonna keep using it like I said I'll let you know how it goes in the comments below I will see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.